last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. Ugh. Serena's probably out of her mind again. But I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise, the written word, gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality but so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. You again? I'm really just here to get the keys so I can get the power back on. You want to hold me down? It's okay. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. I could be like your wife, little wifey, waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman, or the neighbor. I'm already married to someone who isn't crazy, thanks. I'm just gonna go and get the power back on. Aww. Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun, you know. We'll see how it goes. You should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about fate before. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions you'd care to share, uh, Ricky? Well, we've got free will, right? That's in the Bible and everything. Yeah, right, sure. So free will, right? Am I right? I mean, if we can do what we want, how can there be fate? I mean, you don't know what's gonna happen next, so there's no fate. There's just people doing stuff. Well, I don't know, Ricky. I don't suppose you have considered the possibility that we're all here in the service of a greater purpose, incomprehensible to us, and that what we take to be freedom is nothing more than the move of a pawn on some cosmic chessboard limited in scope, subject to the whims of unseen players, existing only for their entertainment. Or perhaps we're just a twisted reflection of actual events that can happen elsewhere. Could it be that such is life in Night Springs? Um, dude, what? Food for thought, Ricky. Food for thought.
I want to talk about Alice. Just look at her. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Your wife. Well, our wife, really. Just my wife soon. Don't worry. I'm not going to treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. So talented. You haven't seen her new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really, she's that good. Oh. Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? We're that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know. I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my god. You're alive. I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. And then, one day, somehow, it'll happen. Maybe I'll slip up, she spots something, or maybe she just starts running her mouth. And then, I'll do it. It's going to be sweet. Ah. <sighs> running for all the good it'll do you. The dark place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. But I've learned to take care of myself. I focus on Alice, our life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the dark place as long as I have my gun and the flashlight. For Serena Valdivia, burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist, she often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. 
The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. Die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. <laughs> Sucker.
the Champion of Light knows that the time itself is about to end. At least for him, he can feel the dead end rushing towards him. But there is time to act. Incomplete or not, he has the weapon. I don't have the whole thing, but maybe it's enough. Cute, aren't you? What are you up to? It's a waste of time, buddy. You should just lie down and die. Let me take over. This is the only thing you've got coming to you. From here to eternity. No matter how many times you come back. Time folds back on itself. Again, his senses scream as the very impossibility of what is happening assaults them. But the Champion of Light endures. Each time he gets a little closer, each time another detail falls into place. Now, the trap works against the Herald of Darkness, 